Hello and welcome to this week's IG Live. Today we are going to be talking to Tanya Wright. She's the owner and founder of the Girlfriends Book Club Baltimore. And we're going to be talking about what it takes to put together a book club and why that is so important. What's the connection between literacy and building confidence? And how do you do that? How do you encourage girls and get them excited about literacy and help them find their voices. So we're going to be talking to Tanya about all of this. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments. Or if you have any topics that you would like to see us cover, please let us know. We come here every week on Thursdays, usually at 1 o'clock Eastern. And, um, and we are always trying to give you some positivity and some practical tips that you can use for yourself and for your family and especially around issues like diversity, literacy, self-care, self-love, following your dreams. We try to cover all of those. And so if you have any questions or ideas, please do let us know in the comments. And again, today we are going to be talking about building liter building confidence through literacy. There we go. Yay. Hi. <laughs> so good to see you. It's good to see you too, although I can't see you on my screen, but as long as you can see me, that's I perfect. I can see you. Hi, Katie Williams. And you know, I had someone else say that too, so I'm not sure okay. what's going on okay. here, but I'm, I'm glad I can see you fine. So hopefully our viewers can as well. Uh, that happened I hope so too. It, it looked fine. Well, thank you. They, um, go ahead. I'm sorry. sorry. No, no. Thank you for joining us i'm just it was so excited to have you here because this is such a great topic and plus i have been following you on my other channel for a while and i see all these great book reviews that you do um i know you've worked with read your world which i also work with and makeaway media is a big sponsor of read your world so that's really exciting and i'm i'm excited to talk to with you about what you do maybe we can start you can introduce yourself and tell us about girlfriends book club baltimore all righty well, thank you so much for having me. Look, having us, I always love an opportunity to brag about um, the wonderful members of our club. Um, my name's Tanya, Tanya Wright, as you all know, and I have a master's degree in human resource development. And so I have a, a background in HR, but I'm also an educator and a philanthropist. I would say that I'm a uh, photographer. I love uh, photography and, um, uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. And um, I would just say that I'm a book advocate, of course, and a proud mom. And I believe that, I'm just a firm believer that you have to carry your light with you because there are a lot of spaces that you walk into that need your natural glow and a lot of times you don't know that until you get there so carry your light with you i love that i love that and, and so how did this I, I mean one of the things i admire about you is you are teaching this to the next generation and really helping girls find their voices build their confidence so how did you get the what was the inspiration behind starting girlfriends book club baltimore so so Girlfriends Book Club Baltimore is, of course, a, a stress-free, and I, I put preference on stress-free, not just for the girls, but for me and their parents. Um, we're a club that uh, promotes reading, uh, comprehension, um, speaking skills, and we like to do that all in a fun environment. Mm -hmm. And the inspiration behind the club was actually uh, my daughter, and she loved loved books when she was little. She still loves books, by the way. <laughs> um, she loves books and her passion for books and my love for her birthed this club back in 2014. And I pretty much just said to her, do you want to start a book club? And since she was only in second grade at that time, I had to explain it to her. And I told her that if we can get, we'll ask like the parents of the kids in her classroom. And I said, if we get one parent to say, yes, honey, we got a club. <laughs> and we ended up with six. So um, to my surprise, and it just bloomed from there. So I will tell you, we got six kids. So I had a total of seven. And um, I will tell you, you know, it's like the, the match had been lit. 
and the rest is history or should i say her story i love that and you got great comment here loved carrying your light with you yes that's so beautiful and thank you that's what i think you're really inspiring these girls to do what about for you personally where did your passion for literacy and reading come from well you know it's always that one book right that you read uh, just by chance and it takes you on a journey that you've never experienced before and um that happened for me right after i graduated from high school and i was going into my first year of college and i picked up the book uh, the taste of power by elaine brown and it transformed my whole world and since then i you know continued i i'm still reading of course mm -hmm. But the girls are a big inspiration. Um, they keep me on my toes. And my goal is to really place them in positions of power, mm. put them in spaces that um, will expand their perspectives. Things they didn't really see themselves before. Because I will tell you that when, I, when we started this club, one, I, I didn't think it was going to be a business, so that happened by chance. But then the girls started recording podcasts, right? Mm -hmm. um, being invited to uh, be on stage at book festivals. And um, I remember in the, in the beginning, I used to hide their little faces because, you know, you can't be too careful with your babies out here. And um, once they started getting these invites and appearing on stages. I mean, going to the National Archives in Washington, DC, that was not on our list of things to do, but that's where the books took us. And I'm just so thankful. And to see them now, to see them evolve in this club and become stronger, as I always call them tomorrow's women, mm -hmm. because they are. And um, it's really just an honor to have just a little, you know, something to do with that. I'm just thankful. That's amazing. I mean, what a journey for them and for and for the book club to go from just a few kids reading books together to now they're having speaking engagements, they're going to the National Archives. That's amazing. Uh, did you yeah. have any idea when you started that that's, that's what it would end up becoming? No, not at all. I mean, it was really just to support uh, my daughter's love of books. I, I really just wanted to nurture that. And I will honestly tell you, I've seen a difference in these kids' lives uh, when it comes to studying um, their academics at school or, or presenting. They have the experience, you know, they know how to hold a microphone. Um, they know to stand up when they ask a question um, because you're voice projects better so all those little things and and don't get me wrong we do some a lot of like like i say it's stress-free it's all really fun so my goal is to present it to them in a way that doesn't sound like i'm pushing them or telling them what to do i can remember um i was partnering with baltimore city um schools and um i created a book club for um two groups of kids. So I had the middle school kids and then I also had like the little kindergartners, mm -hmm. about a dozen of those. <laughs> and um, with the, um, the the girls in middle school, I um, got the, I reached out to one of my contacts who was gonna be in town promoting her own book. And I was like, oh my God, can we do a podcast? The author's local. And so I surprised the girls with this podcast. And I will tell you in the beginning, one of them was really nervous. She was like, I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. And I said, it's, I said, it's really just us talking to a microphone. There's no camera, you know, I said, there's me always taking photos in the background, but there's no camera. No one will see you. It's really like the discussion we're having now, it's just going to be recorded and shared with the world. And she was still like, no, I'm terrified. I don't want to do it. So I talked with her one-on-one -on -one and I said to her, I tell you what, I'll make a deal with you. Since you've never done this before, try it. Mm -hmm. And if you absolutely hate it, you never have to do another podcast ever in your life. <laughs>
And so she uh, took me up on that. She did it. She loved it. And um, the girls had so much fun. And I will tell you, um, that particular day will always just be in my memory because I was able to bring the author in as well. And I remember having pictures of the author in the room and the girls, like she walked in the door and the girls were like looking like, wait a minute, wait a minute. Like that's her, <laughs> you know? And um, it's those moments that, you know, keep you inspired and motivated and just wanting to reach more and more um, young minds. What an amazing experience for them to meet a real author, someone whose book they had read and get to talk with her and have this podcast. And like you said, I, I love how you have that must be kind of hard to do the balance between getting them to try new things that maybe they're really nervous about, but not yeah. push it and keep it really fun and, and enjoyable for them. That must, that must be kind of a hard balance to do. Cause I know that is something that um, is really important for you to make it stress-free. Why is that so important that this is a space where they're having fun, they're enjoying it. And it's not like, it's different than school where they're having to go and learn and, and maybe do some of the same things, but um, yeah. but it's more like work or obligation. Yeah, I, and, and I will tell you that's the reason because nowadays reading a book is attached to an exam or a test or some kind of word assignment, right? right? Okay. And that can be stressful for um, a lot of kids. And so my goal is to create a space for them to just enjoy the mm -hmm. journey enjoy the adventures um and i will tell you of course academics like in school comes first and if a, uh, a member feels like they need to step back from the club by all means step back from the club i totally support that we're here whenever you're ready to come back i will tell you the proudest moments are when parents send me report cards of their kids with their reading grades that have improved or their writing grades have improved. And like I said, to have like just a little like impact mm -hmm. regarding that, to make them feel like they're competent, they can do more, they can stretch themselves. Um, it's really a, a, a blessing. And can you go step back? Sorry, do you need to? to get them. no okay. <laughs> just, checking. just ignore it just ignore that <laughs> um so can you step back and talk about the the connection between literacy and confidence because like you said the club encourages reading vocabulary expansion comprehension skills and confidence yeah. and some people might not see what the connection is between all of those reading uh, literacy skills and building up their confidence yeah I will tell you that over the years, I've been able to witness how literacy and the discussion about the contents of the books that we've read create space for um, our readers to share their perspectives without judgment, right? So their courage and how they empower each other to tackle like new challenges I will tell you, it's not only motivational for, for them, but it's also motivational for our younger members. So I try to, when I plan events sometimes, and not all times, but sometimes there are moments where I could bring um, the older kids in with the younger kids, right? And so they see their big book club sisters doing all these things and they're like yo i want to do that too you know i will tell you um and and there's a couple things i want to share with you so in the beginning or when the girls are younger of course i'm the one that facilitates the programs i lead the discussions i will tell you the the best feeling is watching them become leaders themselves. Mm -hmm. I love when they take over facilitating the book club, right? Where they're bouncing ideas off each other and sharing those perspectives. It's really a remarkable evolution 
And I'm just so proud of them all. And if they're watching, well, they should be in school, but <laughs> Maybe they'll, they'll watch this later. Yeah. I'm so proud of you all. And um, which is another reason, like we do, um, we do vision board um, projects. We do, um, we get, in, we get together for like uh, sip and paint events. We, um, I partner with colleges and I take the girls on college tours. And I take the little ones with us too, because it's, for me, it's never too early to plant the seed. Mm-hmm. And, and to see those little ones saying, oh, I want to go to college. I want to live, you know, I want this to be my dorm room. And it's like, you got plenty of time, but I'm glad that that is on your horizon now. You know, they can see themselves in these spaces. And I think that's an important thing. And it just builds confidence in, in all of them. And I, I, I'm proud of yeah. that. It's so amazing. I, I mean, it's just amazing what a difference you're making in the lives of these girls. And um, I know one of the things is that you have read so many books together. Are there some that stick out? I know it's kind of hard because I'm sure you guys have read so many books. Are there some that stick out as being real favorites, either for yourself or that the girls have really loved? Yeah. I- I will tell you, so I I set a few aside because they're kind of like my go-to because what I've learned over the years, and just to share, we're celebrating our 10th anniversary. um, And um, it's the same thing. Makeaway Media is also, this is our 10th anniversary. (laughs) Happy anniversary to us. Yes, 2014 was a good year. I would say so. I grabbed a few books and um, that I know are some of our girls' favorites. And Tina Ford and the Second Grade Mix Up is a very fun favorite. Plus, I have some really fun activities that we do with this book. And that's for the little ones. So, the first graders. This is a great, great book for first graders. Um, I know another favorite of the girls was. Crenshaw. Oh, I don't know that. Oh, by Catherine Applegate. Mm. Oh, it's such a wonderful book, and I hope everyone can see it. Okay. And I'll um, be able to. I'll, I, I'll be sure when we put this on YouTube, I'll I'll include this in the notes. Yeah, and if you want, I can send you the list later too. That way, it'd be easy for you That'd to cut great. and paste. Great. Um, quickly, I'll go through uh, front and dads, and I'm sorry I didn't mention the the author's name. Shame on me, <laughs> Kena Ford by Melissa Thompson. Mm-hmm. Right, that's the first one. Catherine Applegate, Crenshaw, another fan favorite. Mm-hmm. Um, and of course, front and desk by yes. Kelly Yang. Oh, the girls love this book, and it doesn't matter how many times I introduce it to it, they just love it. And then the last one I'm gonna share is The Length of a String for our middle schoolers. And this is by Alyssa Brett Wiseman. I will tell you this book is, the the girls love this book. I've introduced this to um, many groups. And I think without giving any secrets away, it's about a girl who finds her grandmother's journal, right? And she um, reads the journal and it takes her on a path of discovery. And what this book has done for our club and our members is that it reminds them to have conversations with their grandparents. Mm-hmm. And it's so important, but great book. Even for an adult, read this book. It's a fun book. What a great list. And yes, I agree. You've got a comment. Those books look delightful. And also uh, also another comment, how you're empowering young minds. That's awesome. I agree. I, I mean, it's just amazing what you're doing. And, and what, you. what, maybe we can close by saying what's next for the book club? Well, what's next? Because we're celebrating our 10th anniversary. Um, yeah. Woohoo! <laughs> Um, it's so exciting. So we're um, going to be giving some things away soon. 
but also recognizing the girls and all their accomplishments and their continued achievements. The other thing that we're celebrating, and I don't want to go without saying this, is that our members who helped start the book club are all graduating from high school. Wow, that's so special. I know. <laughs> so oh, that's right, because you said your daughter was in second grade, and so there must yeah. be. Yeah. Uh, so this is a really, really special year. We got a lot going on. And I just want to make sure that I celebrate those girls and, um, you know, we get together and, and we can do some more fun things before they all head off to college or whatever the next chapter is in their life. I'm so, so, so proud of all of them. Well, thank you for taking the time to talk with us. I agree, Kayla, great recommendations on the books and, and we will be sure to include those in our notes. So I'm, I'm taking notes for myself, for my kids, to something we can read with together. And thank you for all the work that you're doing and coming and sharing it with us today. If anybody is joining us late, this will be up in a few minutes on Instagram and later on our YouTube channel. And you can connect with Tanya at uh, GBC Baltimore on Instagram. And of course, we'll include the link to the website or all of the links on our YouTube channel when we post it there. Thank you for joining us today. No, thank you. And I just want to say one last thing. Just remind our young people that their voice matters. Mm -hmm. And even though it starts with a book, that book opens the door to so many wonderful, amazing, unexpected opportunities and i say just walk through with grace and take a couple friends with you oh what a perfect way to close this i love it and and yes and happy anniversary celebrating 10 years and looking forward to the future so thank you so much bye everybody Have thank you day.